Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to talk about my 2000 or 2020 pot watch list that I've updated here lately and we're going to go through a couple tickers that are really going to excite our booty. So here we are. SNDL on top of the list. Let's take a look at it. Go ahead and move this to the side over here. I've had a nice little breakout on it. SNDL. Penny stock support level right for right now is going to be right here where the double top breakout happened and right going to be right at 77.55 with a lower support right around 71. Let's pull up the yearly chart. This is SNDL. See if we can find anything else up in here. Oh yeah, this sucker can run. Looking for resistance levels. I'm looking at this top right in here and how it matches up with these other ones in here. So we'll just kind of right there. Perfect. 89.29. Then we got a long at 109. And we got a break at 109, 111, 112 area. We'll keep it 109. Actually, I should raise it up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and pull up the 20 day. One more lower support. Go back to the year. I've got to find a higher, a little higher resistance level. Maybe up in here in this top part. I'd say probably right around 125. If we can break that, we'll go up to higher levels and find a little resistance right here at 151. That's SNDL. Let's pull up the daily and see if I missed anything on here. Go back to that year. Magnify it up. Right there, okay. We got a low support right around 59. Solid buy right around 64 to 71. With a resistance to break. And I think we're at it right now. We're, we're at 95. So we got to break 109 and build it up to 124. And then maybe if we can race on out, break that 200 at that 107 area. And then we can get to 151.26. That's going to be SNDL. Hexo is another one we called out yesterday in the room. I scalped it to 111, 112. We're up after hours. Let's take a good look at this. We got a long of 157.66 to 165 with a gap fill at 191. Let's go ahead and pull up the daily. We're at 132 right now. Go back to the 20 day here. Here we go. We're breaking the double top resistance at 141.06. If we can do that, we'll go a lot higher. And let's pull up that yearly and get them resistance levels. We got 141.06, 157, 165, and then along to 191 on Hexo. So let's keep a good eye on it. Next one we got is ACB. She's one of our stronger ones that we like. She's getting ready to break out. Let's go ahead and clear this up. Well, let's look at the 20-day real fast. Because I pretty much have this charted up already. So we've got resistance to break at that 1437 double top area. If we can get higher than that, we'll go higher. If not, 1149 will be your support on ACB. Like, see that 1149 hold? 
And if it doesn't, we'll get down to 1069 for a strong buy. ACB. Another one, Tilray. T L R Y. She's starting to rebound pretty nicely. Got a support here at 830 with a resistance to break at 940 to up here to the higher. I think this can go higher. We got 1062 and 1117. Tilray. A P H A. Miss Vegas likes this one here a lot. It's definitely had a nice little breakout. From the lower level, she called this out down here right around the $5.74 area. And ever since then, it's ran up. We're at $8.64. Let's look at the resistance levels. We're going to pull up the yearly. We're at all year highs. Let's go to the three year and see if we can get anything else out of this. Three year weekly. Okay, so we pull up the three year weekly. We're going to look for an equilibrium. There's a support level right in here, right there at 949 then we got a resistance that we got a break there's another one right here I want to put that in there and then we got that long resistance at 1046 if we can get past that 74 and then we got these tops in here it's kind of a choppy little trade here this is one I'll be watching as we start to move in it's 860 right now it's up a little bit after hours let's go ahead and see if we can pull this back to the year I mean, look at that. That's just a beautiful little bounce. So we're going to put a little support level right in here. That's going to be your third support at 730. I don't like to see that hold. And that first one's going to be right here at 812. So these are the three supports I want to hold. 731, 774, and 812. And resistance to break is going to be that 868 area. right there and we'll go long go back to the three year yeah 868 we got a break and then we get it up to that 949 986 and we got the 10 something and I think this can start to move back up and get up to about 1143 we got to break this resistance right here at 1039 that's going to be your hard resistance So that's going to be that for that one. APHA got a resistance at right around the 1039 area to break. And that's going to be APHA. IGC 229. It's broke up, broke resistance. I got my 2019 trend lines on here. I'm going to remove them. We're going to start fresh. This is a three year. We're working resistance levels on three years, so we're definitely in a bullish market here. We got a gentleman in the room called Doobie. He's our he's he's our go-to guy when it comes to the marijuana medical sector. So we got a support level right down here. I'm going to say right around 181. At 181 needs to hold. It can dip a little bit lower to around 171. Resistance to break is going to be this 291 area if we can get past it. Let's pull this up on the 20 day and see if we see anything different. We got a support level right in here. Can't leave that out nor that out. Double top. Definitely pull back to the 181 for a strong buy. Maybe a little bit higher. Somewhere in this range. Your third supports, two bucks, two ten, and two twenty-four. With resistance to break right around the two forty-eight. If we can get past 248, we can get up to these higher highs, 291, 336, and I'll adjust that to 343, right in here. So at 336, 344, it's going to be your resistance to break if we can break past 248. That's IGC. Cron's another one on our watch list. She's definitely broke out of the year high. We have a double top here at nine bucks. If we can break past that nine dollar area, we'll get up to the higher levels. I think this is looking good. This used to be my favorite one. Let's go to the three year. 
It was my favorite one. I mean, this had a real nice run. So we got 962. And then we got this little gap up here, right around 1025. We bust past 10, and we'll get up to these higher levels. Maybe a long resistance to right around 1242. That's going to be Kron. MJ's on the list. CGC, another one. We broke past some major resistance levels. We're looking at the three-year chart. We had a resistance level right here that we had to break at 28.35. I think this can go higher. I think CGC can start to hit 30.48. We bust past that $30 area. We can really start to get some momentum. This is one of my favorite ones. Long 32.61. Solid buy is going to be right down in here at this level. Right around 24 bucks, 23.02. Somewhere in that for CGC. And then we'll do this last one, GWPH. I've got my 2017 trend lines on here. Let's erase them. We're definitely back up three years ago. When I was calling it out back in here, this is GWPH. We have a resistance that we had to break right here at that 137.24. Support right around 129.42. And your next resistance level is going to be this double top wick at 141 something and then 145.28. This is a good one to keep an eye on. We've had three white soldiers right here. Big engulfing candle. I think it can pull back to that 128 area. 129.42 to be exact. GWPH. Well, there's a lot of good tickers to watch in the marijuana sector right now, and we're definitely starting to hit some bullish targets. We're in the three-year channel right now, so definitely start to see some resistance. I think we can keep on going to 145 and break at 145.28 on GWPH. So let's have a good day, and we'll catch you all later. I love stocks. Be sure to subscribe, follow us on Twitter. We have a little Twitter link here. We're getting some good followers going. ACB, we called out in the room yesterday, had a nice little run. Vegas has got $12 target on this one here. So please subscribe, follow us on here. Also, we have our stock twits links. You can hit us, hit us up on here. Follow us our alerts on stock twits. HYSR, I added to my hydro auto ev car watch list yesterday it had a nice little pop so i love stocks have a good day